want to see me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I going to do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How does your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus! Uh. I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Six rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw, it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before, and we have a feeling, we just kind of have the feeling that it could be one of those special nights. Yeah, because their styles, it suits up for one of those special nights. He's had so much success throughout his career as Andre Bishop, and the right hand's been a big part of it. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Chavez's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is the block. He did it there well. Double jab upstairs. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down, and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old-timers would say, take a walk around the block. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Right hand downstairs. Two good jabs by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop, a cut over his eye. Bishop has had so much to come throughout all his years in the ring. And now this hurdle. He returned fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them as one of them is being eliminated. Doubles up the jab. Is this the type of stylistic matchup, Teddy? A high stamina guy against a power puncher that many would expect. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He's jumping all over him now. Chavez is nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Andre Bishop just dropped his opponent in that last round. Trainer Gus Carisi may know that the end is near. He knows the possibility is there, Joe, no doubt about that. But he wants to make sure that his charge does not get careless either. He goes and finishes the job the right way. How you doing? You OK? A new round underway here. Chavez is hoping that he doesn't make a defensive fall like he did in the last round. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Look at this swarming attack. Oh! Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five. 
So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. A headshot block. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. the count, but I don't think he has it in him. Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. Heavyweight action headlining our fight card here at the Mexico City Plaza in the heart of Mexico City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessator alongside Teddy Atlas. What a curious path it's been in the career of Andre Bishop. All right, fellas. Middleweight What's prospect. Up fight? Now fighting Touch him up his second go. fight as a heavyweight. He will do so tonight against Raul Castillo. So round one is underway between Bishop and Castillo. We'll give you something to look for, at least what we've been hearing out of the Bishop camp, is that they're very conscious of the body punching of Castillo. So look for Bishop to try to defend that well. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well-conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see made throughout the fight? Well, one of the adjustments is on the side of the power puncher. He may find out that he better stop looking for home runs, stop swinging for the fences. He may have to adjust his game where he's using the jab more. Looking for singles and doubles, not just that big one over the fence. And he ties up on the inside. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect. He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight. Here. Nice, good, quick jabs by Andre Bishop. Bishop's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good ring span. I mean... He's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. Castillo's able to land a good, solid left hand. Andre Bishop needs to get away from these body shots. He is taking a lot of punishment from Castillo. Well, we've been waiting all week to call this one. Teddy, what kind of fight are you expecting? Well, the kind of guys that they get insulted if you miss them, Joe. Take a step back and catch him with a jab. Just take a short step back and jab. You're letting this get away. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. Here we go. Round two is underway. Little head with that right hand. Doubling up the jab by Andre Bishop. Oh, and a big right hand. What a big shot. He is not meant 
for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Did you see that? Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Castillo's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're gonna find out in a second whether or not he... Wow! And that's it. What a way to end the night with a knockout. You saw it coming. Problem is, he didn't see it. To cap it all, we send it up to the ring. Well, throughout the night, we were following Teddy's scorecard, and Teddy, you had him up. You felt he was in control. Now he leaves no doubt. Bishop's your winner by TKO. Well, that's why he got the TKO, Joe, because he was in control. He was doing the right things, and it led to this. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? to get you cleaned up. Well, 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 will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. You too, Gus. 